Hey everyone, it's Kevin from JJ Hat Center. We're going to talk about straw hats today. Uh, JJ's just gotten some amazing things. The Mojave, which is a custom made Panama, hand woven Panama hat with a flat, dead flat brim. It's just like real fashionable, real cool. Everybody's going to like it. The rockers, the the hip hoppers, the regular dudes, the ladies are going to like it, the people who just want a big brim. Somebody who's been looking for a flat brim hat for the summer that's got a little style, a little swagger, and you know, just a sky piece with a little bit of, you know, a little smooth, you know, a little smooth. This is it. Uh, the colors are fantastic. Um, it's right up old Kevin's alley. It's uh, really nice and it's a beautiful platform for modifying to, you know, to put different colored bands on and, you know, bound edge or some really wild, uh, you know, tie-dye bands that, that our guy Van makes. Uh, he tie-dyes and bleach dyes all these really wicked things. They look like clouds and stuff or fire, you know. You could have anything done, you know, just uh, modify it, I guess. Right now the custom shop is a little, you know, because of the, the COVID nonsense, we have like two or three people working in the shop. But it's gonna end. It's gonna end. We're gonna get back to uh, life. Life is normal, you know, regular world without masks and everything like that. It'll happen. Um, election day is coming up soon too, so I suspect there'll be a lot of drama from now to uh, November. You know, so it'll be interesting to see um, how the country, uh, you know. We stay together and we treat each other all like brothers, which we are, brothers and sisters. And uh, we just reached 6,000 subs, subscriptions, so uh, it seems like 70-something percent of my uh, viewers don't subscribe. So if you haven't done it and you basically, you know, if you guys like what you see here, you know, if you're into the uh, hats and guitar show, and, um, you know, you want to give me a like, a thumbs up, or you want to say, hey, Kevin, you know, good job, you know, I I like the show or that's a good way to do it that's got like no consequences it doesn't cost anything you hit subscribe and basically at the bottom of your YouTube uh, app when you go to okay let's say you go to YouTube all right right at the bottom here you got like four little different things it says uh, subscribe uh, library and this and that right you see it down there right okay the one oops no you don't see it hold on Okay. Yeah, the one that says subscribe, if you go there, you'll see my new video. So basically, if you subscribe, if you don't know about this, when you hit subscribe, it's right underneath the screen. Just go right down there. See? It says like red or gray or something. You touch it, and every time you go down here to the bottom where it says subscribe, you'll see my brand new video. You'll get first dibs on it before anybody else. And, um,. It directly helps the channel. It helps me um, make more money so that I can get things like uh, like new stereo microphones that sound really rich so my voice sounds real like bottom heavy like you know Howard Stern. I sound like one of those real cool producer dudes or DJ God is a WNBC. You know like those guys with the tons of like compression on their voice and like lots of bass. It makes the guys with that really wimpy, you know, Woody Allen voices sound like, uh, I don't know, they have the most amazing, like, James Earl Jones, rich bass. Yes, uh, WNBC. You know, and Howard Stern sounds like that, but, you know, you talk to the guy in person, he's just like, yeah, I'm just Howard Stern, you know, I've got this, like, dumb voice, you know. But, yeah, that's what a uh, little bit of equalization, a little adding bass and compression and things to voices can make it sound really great. So uh, what we're trying to do here is upgrade the microphone and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the lighting system. I'm going to be getting some lights to flash on me and getting uh, an extension for my mic so I can put it up here as a lapel mic. And because if you notice, the microphone, microphone sounds like 90%, 100% better if I'm closer to it like this. Um, it's, oh wait, I'm redlining now. But yeah, just like this. So. It's better when I'm in close range, so if I can strap it to my lapel, we're going to be like, Ooh. you'll actually be able to hear me sing, which is, huh, I don't know if that's good or bad, but, uh, all right, we've got some uh, sirens going on, bagel store is closed, Walgreens looks like they're still open, uh, the convenience store is open, 
We got a bunch of people hanging outside. No masks. No mask. No mask. No mask. Two kids. No masks. That was an ambulance. Yeah, headed towards the hospital. All right. Anyway, uh, yeah, hospitals suck, right? Emergency rooms and all that stuff. IVs and uh, nobody wants to be in a hospital now, you know. But so, uh, all right, you guys, so uh, hang in there. We're almost, uh, there's, there's a light at the end of this tunnel. We're, we're crawling through the tunnel and we see the light, you know, it's coming soon. We'll get back to uh, normalcy next. But um, we're going to try to keep it light and we're going to try to keep you uh, informed and, you know, teach you all kinds of cool hat stuff and uh, play some guitar. I'm going to sneak that into, you know.
about is this new Mojave. Whew, sorry, it's getting a little hot there. All right, the, the Mojave is the one that I've got my eyes on. Um, I haven't wanted to buy a straw hat for like a decade or something. Um, working at uh, JJ Hat Center, we get what's called a season hat, which is, you know, like a free hat every year. It's part of the, uh, the perks of working there. When you get the job, they say, as soon as you're working here for one full year, you start getting your benefits, like uh, things like vacation time, blah, 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 blah. And one of them is your season hat. You get a free hat in the winter, and you get a free hat in the summer. I've been doing that for years. Um, back in the old days, I used to just take a borsalino felt, and I would just stash it away because I had one or two hats that I liked, and that was it. There was a time where I only wore caps. I was taking home the roadster caps from Jonathan Richards, Baker Boys. And I had like six of those in black. Um, right now, yeah, you know, I buy a nice straw and I buy a nice felt. Uh, I think, uh, what did I buy last year? I forgot. Hmm. I got the Tri-City. Oh yeah, the last one I bought was the, the Burgundy Biltmore. Um, the Open Crown Burgundy uh, Bordeaux hat with the uh, blue bands. Anyway, so this year I'm thinking about getting the Mojave for myself. Uh, you got to see it. The Mojave is a Panama hat. Those of you who don't know what Panama is, uh, you probably do by now. Panama is a type of straw that's woven by hand in Ecuador. I'll keep it short because most of you guys do know this. It's woven by hand. So you'll notice the concentric rings. Uh, that's the giveaway. It starts in the middle and there's concentric rings. If you look inside, there's usually like a branding that it was woven in Ecuador. Generally, the, the straw is woven in Ecuador. It comes in one big kind of a circle called a hat body. Piles of that go to the United States or Italy or whoever, Canada, wherever the hat factory is that's making the hats. And then they make the hat, let's say, in Texas. So the hat is made in USA, woven in Ecuador. Okay? So uh, that's a Panama hat. It has to be woven by hand in Ecuador. And it will always have that little branding on the inside. Now, we're getting them now in these really non-traditional shapes. Things like three and a quarter inch brands. Okay, that's really wild because Panama used to come basically two and a half and down. And then the three came out. And now we could get threes. Threes, threes you know, I'm talking about just standard production, you know, hats, not like you know, custom hats or super expensive things. Panama is woven by hand. So there's only a certain amount of width that can get. You know, they can't go super wide if they're not weaving Panama bodies that are three and a quarter, you know. Um, now, this new hat is incredible. It has the dead, dead flat brim, flat like a board. Uh, you know what I mean? Just flat. No flange, no scoop. No downturn, no upturn, no pencil chrome, nothing. Just flat. The hat's lightweight, it's gorgeous. Um, really, really nice. They were made exclusively for us. We're the only ones who have this hat. Nobody has it. We saw the trend, and uh, basically nobody's making hats like this, and we asked somebody to make it up for us. Said, how wide can you go with that color? is incredible. Can we make a flat, flat brim? Yeah, and we did it. So um, the colors, are the most uh, amazing part. Let's let's take a look. All right. First of all, you have an orange color. What do they call the orange? Dark peach. Okay. Let's get some glare out of here. 
the dark peach is really really cool um, dead flat brim it's got the you know the grow grain dress low crown I forgot how many uh, what the specs on the crown is but I never really pay attention to crown heights to be honest you know it's lower it's high it's a four inch crown three and a quarter inch brim no lining obviously hand woven in Ecuador finished in the US it's got a cotton sweatband that's great the band is inside is made of cotton which is a beautiful thing absorbent instead of just a ribbon or that weird you know cloth sweatband that's just like some kind of man-made crap you got a cotton sweatband genuine dark peach dyed Panama with a three and a quarter inch brim flat like the youngins are wearing yeah and like the old guys like me who want to look like a youngin yeah this is like the height of fashion now three it's a three and a half inch brims flat all the celebrities are wearing them like Gary Clark Jr. and uh, ah, man I don't even know oh that that athlete that always comes in oh, now I can't think of his name hmm okay well there's a lot of hat guys that are super trendy it's got like a bit of that cool slight to like modern look I'm not gonna say hip-hop but it's just it's just fashionable and and ladies are gonna love these as well as men let me show you some of the other colors on this big brim hat comes with a little big feather but obviously you could pull that out yeah all right another color you got is ice blue ice blue Let's just get this up here. The ice blue one looks like this. Navy blue band with a beautiful icy kind of a teal blue. This is the hat. This is the hat. You want to show your, your buddies that, yo, I got the hat. This is it. This is Mr. Smoothie right here. You want to get yourself like an awesome colored suit to match that and just be like, yo. You, you, there are no words to describe. You know what I'm talking about. Bam. That's just it. Kazang. Gazoom. I am the ice blue flat brimmed wearing dude. Nothing else to say about that. You just walk in. It's just like everybody sees you. They just instantly drop into like a state of shock some people actually just like lose their lives from how like amazing you look they just instantly they just like die uh, other people will just like basically die of embarrassment because they'll look at what's on their hat their head compared to what's on your head and they'll be like wow i'm so embarrassed i'm gonna just like crawl up into a little ball now, sit in a corner and wait till you guys leave because I don't want anybody to see me. Um, come on. It's like an avocado green hand-woven Panama hat with a big three and a quarter inch brim. I don't know how much smoother it gets than that. Ice blue avocado green, uh, dark peach. You've got black. Black will also work for more conservative folks, somebody who just wants a lot of protection, but they want something to match their black, you know, black outfits. This is it. You can get away with a lot more brim in the summer. People expect you to wear bigger brims to shade the sun. So you can, let's say you get away with a two and a half inch brim, two and three quarters the most. In the summer, you can add an inch to that. Um, People just expect you to wear, you know, more brim. It's just the way it is. Oh, you know, it's to keep the sun off you. I, I get it. And natural. Natural Panama is the color without any dye. It's kind of like a, a wheat or a straw colored, oatmeal colored. The Mojave. That's, we've had the Mojave like this for, you know, like a year or so. The colors are something we just got into. We said, you know what? 
That hat is so hot and we sell out of it in like a week every time we get it. Let's like quadruple order it. Now let's get like, you know, four or five colors and let's just quintuple order it and get like all the colors that they make. And we did it. And these are going to sell out so fast. You get a call like next week and you're going to want one of these interesting colors or popular colors like natural or ice blue or peach or whatever. And they're going to be gone. Um, these things sell fast, especially when we have all these weird sales now and stuff. Um, so yeah, don't sleep on this. I'm telling you. I know the way JJ operates. We buy as many as we can get, you know. Uh, basically, people just can't produce enough product for us to sell. You know, we wait and wait and wait, and we just sell so much more than everybody that we can't keep them in stock. We just say, give us all you got, give us whatever you can, you know. They, they give us, and that's the end of it. Or we order, you know, six dozen of these, uh, a few of them come, and the rest just never make it. This is the way a lot of companies wind up, because we order tons of stuff. A lot of things we order are special. They have to make them up for us, and it's kind of a pain. So sometimes they actually don't even come. You know, when they do, they fly out of here. Stuff like this, trust me, it's not going to be here for long. Actually, this speech I just made, while I made that speech, they all sold out. They're absolutely all gone now. So this whole commercial I'm making is worthless. No, I'm kidding. But you know what I'm talking about. Um, they sell. The, the cool stuff sells. That's it. Generally, we'll get in like, you know, whatever, 50 styles, and there'll be like, you know, 10 to 15 styles that we pick that are super hot. And then from those 10 to 15 styles, there'll be like, you know, only a couple of colors that are super, super hot, and those colors will sell first, and they'll sell first in 7 one eighth, 7 and a quarter, 7 and 3 eighths, 7 and a half. You know, anything like 57, 58, 59, 60 it just flies out. 61 also, it moves. Um, after that, you get stuck with the size smalls and the extra larges, I mean, smalls and double X's, and that's basically what happens. So yeah, the Mojave is, I gotta say it, I have to use a profanity. Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna use a profanity now. Get the kids out of the, out of the room. Here we go, you ready? Uh, a couple of those kids might be up to it. You know what? You could keep him in there. I'm gonna say it, alright? These are badass. They are bad plus ass. It's just the way these hats are. There is no way around it. Whether you're a really fashionable dude, a lady, a young person, somebody who just wants something really special and cool, like that's lasting, that'll last a long time, or if you want a cool platform, platform to modify, you can use this hat and get one of those horsehair western bands from eBay or something. Um, look for western hat bands, do a search, western hat bands, and then do western horse hair, western horse hair hat bands, which are very lightweight. They're much lighter weight than um, leather, and leather and conchos and metal and stuff. And not only are they lightweight, they look cooler. You know, they're, they have these cool like braiding macrame kind of things, and there's just so many variations, and they have tassels and patterns and pictures on it. They're amazing. Um, you could get a really cool earthy looking one with some like, you know, tassels that hang down the side here or down the back or no tassels. Just, you know, put a really cool band right over that grow grain band just sitting kind of under it. It would be awesome. Um, I'm not a feather guy. I would take the feather out myself, but it looks like a nice feather. It's a little nicer than the typical generic ones that they put on there. Is it? No, no, it's a generic one, I think. Yeah, no, it's generic. Okay, sorry. It's one of those typical feathers. Looked a little bigger. But yeah, you know, if you want a different feather, you just ask us. You just say, hey, a guy at JJ Hat Center, I just ordered a hat. Can you enclose like two or three really nice colored feathers to go with my green hat? Um, can you give me three or four nice feathers? There are some hat shops. I'm not going to name them. They begin with a G. But they sell their hat feathers. The feathers are like six fifty each or something. And they're like packaged. We give them away free, like as many as you want. And people sift through our big cigar box. We have a wooden cigar box, kind of famous for it. And they just put them all over the counter. And they try to find the perfect feather. And they walk out with like a half a dozen or more. We give them free. So if you need any extras, just be like, yo, can I get a, a something to match a green hat? Or can I get a gold feather? or uh, whatever, a red, golden, green Rasta feather. Um, I want one of those. Um, 
I don't, a Western Rasta feather? Can I have a black feather? Can I get whatever, uh, a lime green one? Can I get a forest green one, or a green and red Christmas one? Whatever you think, like maybe a gold and yellow one, or a brown and yellow. We have all these neat, neat combinations. Generally what we say is just like, you know, ask for two or three, ask for three or four, whatever you feel you know you want, ask for one. And we'll give you ones that will match your hat. You just tell us, uh, you know, what color hat you got and we'll give it, you know. It's free. You also get a free hat box with our hats. So when you look at things like our cost and our shipping, just remember that other shop with the G, they charge something like, I don't know what they charge for their hat boxes, 25, 30, 40 bucks, 50, no idea. We give them free. They have little handles built in, a little ring to elevate them. Um, cleaning and blocking, reshaping hats, remodeling them, steaming is all free. I mean, cleaning, I say, you can't do a lot of cleaning on hats, but, you know, basic, everyday felt, brushing, cleaning, all that stuff is free. Uh, we can make a fortune off of that service if we wanted to, but, you know, we do it kind of like getting a shoe shine for, you know, the rest of your life for totally free. So, yeah, today's the day of the Mojave. I just wanted to show you guys that hat because it's like, it's so cool, you know? I just had to show it to you. That's about it. Um, which guitar should I pick up now? It's the same guitar. As far as straws are concerned, I love Panama. Panama is just a wonderful, wonderful straw. It's, um, it's lightweight. The texture is elegant. It's organic. It looks dressy, classy, but at the same time, not starchy and conservative. It looks... I don't know, elegant, classy, yet sort of fresh, summery, and kind of almost like natural linen or something. It has an organic sort of a patina to it that's very, uh, very hard to imitate. You know, they have all these artificial Panama types of straws like Shantung and Toyo. And, you know, they look kind of white and they have, you know, a weave sort of like Panama, but, you know, nothing looks like it. It's the imperfections and the fact that it's, you know, grass and woven, you know, like needlepoint, like, you know, like grandma knitting. There's a special beautiful stitch that they use and you can't fake it, you know. There's people who just stay up all night just doing this stuff in the shade in Ecuador. They do it when the sun goes down, I heard. And, we just knit and knit and knit these hats on these loom things, like on these kind of sticks. And um, that's their business. They just weave, 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 weave. Um, I wonder what they do. You think they got headphones on? They talk to each other? They probably gossip, right? I don't know. They probably have music. I'm trying to picture them doing it with like some Spanish music on in the background. Kind of like, you know, that Bolivia theme from uh, Scarface. Watching too much TV, right? I know. Olivia. But, however, they're making these things. Um, I love Panama. I guess if I'm going to think about my favorite straw, that's that's definitely it. Um, I like Baku, B-A-K-U, but it's a straw that you just you don't see anymore. It's sort of defunct at least any decent Baku, nobody offers it to us anymore. I think the price went up so much or people just don't make it anymore. Um, but I think I like Panama more. Baku is very hard to maintain. It tends to get like kind of messy and bad after a few years. So yeah, I'm going to say Panama is my favorite. I think it takes dye like a champ. I love the way it takes color. Um, check out the Mojave. I think if you're on the fence or you're kind of sleeping on it, uh, you're going to miss it. So, uh, you know, see what you can do if that's a, you know, you're looking for something really cool in a summer hat. If we, uh, we're flying any sales by, you know, grab the sale. We've been doing a lot of 20% and 25% off and stuff, you know. See what you can get. Uh, look on Facebook, look for sales. And follow us on Facebook. Follow our uh, we have an e-list. If you go to jjhatcenter.com, uh, sign up for our mailing list, and definitely uh, that way you'll get a little, uh, just a discreet email. You don't get any junk. We 
we're too low tech to sell your name to you know, lists. We don't do that. We just have like a little book, you know, and we put your name in a book, and then somebody enters it into our computer, and basically we generate these little emails, and that's our e list, you know. So there's no funny business. You don't get lots of junk. You basically will get an email whenever something super, super cool comes out, like, like that Mojave in colors. Um, but most of the time, you'll only get an email when there's a sale. So if we have a sale, let's say five to six times a year, or let's say, I'm going to say it's probably more, let's say eight times a year, and almost once a month at least. Hopefully it's been more. But let's say it's uh, eight times a year, you'll get those eight emails, maybe one or two, saying something like, uh, we're closed this weekend because of the hurricane or something. But that's it. You don't get a bunch of junk. So um, subscribe to me. If you haven't yet, hit right down there. It says subscribe. Just press it. I guarantee there are no uh, reasons why you shouldn't. You, you won't be penalized or you won't get ads or nobody will uh, charge you anything. It just, uh, it helps. It helps support me. So, uh, mm -hmm.
Thank you.